I'm lost in this hospital. Make things right. I hold you and wipe your tears. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amini Gilmore and this is my life. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I post weekly content on the subjects of gastroparesis awareness, lifestyle and some faith devotional. So if any of those topics interest you, then be sure to click that subscribe button and also don't forget to ring the notification bell in order to stay updated from new videos coming from me twice a week. So it is late, that is why I'm whispering. I just got back from a youth group meeting. Tomorrow morning I'm waking up early and we're leaving. We're leaving from the donut at 8 o'clock. Donut is just the local lingo for the name of the place where McDonald's and stuff is on the highway. Meeting there and we're leaving there at 8 o'clock and driving to Newcastle and then training down to Sydney for my appointment with the gastro. Yay! And we're also seeing Frozen which I'm super excited to see. Anyway, I'm going to bed now. So excited to go on this adventure. I don't even know when I'm coming home because I might need to stay back for doing testing, but oh well, we'll see. Good night, guys. Hey, so I am on my way to Sydney. I'm all dressed and all packed. And bye, Benji. Bye, Benji. Hey, guys. I'm here. I'm at the donut and I'm just waiting for ears. I called her and she has just left, so. I'm just waiting, super tired. So We're on the road! It's true, I gotta believe in the stream. I don't know how I became him. Hey guys, we've stopped at Heather Bray. Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> I've just been sleeping in the car. So, Iz is gone to use the restroom. And I think, oh, I think I might get a full sip actually. I can find. There we go. This one is hot tropical ginger flavored. So I'm just gonna have that and chill. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're at the train station now in Cardiff and we're leaving for Sydney. My mum gave me a mask too. Oh, can I see it? Yeah, is that the one that Eliza made? That's oh, the one Eliza made. Yeah. Is that the one? My sister made these. Am I wearing it right? Yeah, yeah. I hope my mum cleaned this one. I'm sure it is. Niagara Park. So life is past and I'm barely here. I'm hopeful, still hopeful, dear. hotel room. There was a bit of a mix up at the reception desk because there was just, it was a huge mix up and I was starting to get worried that we wouldn't have anywhere to sleep at night. We'd have to sleep on the streets. Not jokes, I'm being dramatic. But we got there. We, we, got, there. we, we got, got there. We got there. And so we are here at Ridges World Square. Buddy, I'm going to hold on to these. Okay, yeah, you hold on to them. I'm super keen. Super exciting. Super exciting. Is what do you think about this place? I'm very excited. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, put my feet up. After a long day. This is what I'm wearing. Turn Tops around. Turn around. I'm wearing this in the theater. Get some cinematic. <laughs> that got in my face. We're gonna be asking um, for your autograph because I think you're Elsa. Yeah, because my blonde hair and my clothes looks like Elsa clothes. No, it doesn't really, but it looks like that kind of style. You're gonna think you're Anna because of your hair. <laughs> We are having dinner at Gosma's Y Gomez. I do not know how to say it properly. Hello. What is it, Gomez? Something like that, yeah. Really excited to have water. And I'm, I'm on a liquid diet, but I am going to have some solids today and just see how it goes. So. Hey guys, 
guys, so I am back from Frozen and it was so good, wasn't it, Is? It was amazing. We had such a good time. It was so good. Oh my goodness. If ever you guys get the chance to see Frozen the musical, go see it. You will not regret it. And me and Is got matching cups. Fun fact, I was actually wanting a cup like this not that long ago. I was thinking, oh, well... I love one of these cups just because it's got a straw and due to gastroparesis it's so much easier to drink out of a straw than it is to actually drink not from a straw. And we also got the program, so many cool pictures, Anna and Elsa. And we also got, this is the program. Oh, by the way, guys, I puked <laughs> in the in the theater. Luckily, it was only one of those little tiny pukes that I was able to swallow, which is disgusting. But um, it got up into my mask, <laughs> so the whole time because we're in there, we had to wear masks to be, you know, COVID safe, and I had to wear that mask like for the remainder of it. And luckily, it caused no attention at all. Is who was sitting next to me didn't even notice that it happened, which is good. I told her afterwards and she's like, what? But yeah, we had to chuck that mask out as soon as we left the theater. This is my stomach after a big day. What do we call it is? Eduardo. Eduardo. This is Eduardo. My bloating has a name. It is Eduardo. Good morning, guys. We are awake. I'm oh, sorry, there's a bug on my sock. Ooh. Oh. It must be in Australia or something. <laughs> oh, ew. Ew. Good morning. Good morning. Rise and shine. Ready to start the day? It's literally 6 a.m. No, it's not 6 a.m. It is 8.18. And we've been up for a bit. We did a devotional on the app Faithful, is it? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Not sponsored or anything. Not but. sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. Um, today's the big day. I'm super excited, but super nervous. I just really want an answer, and I just want like I've. I think what I'm scared about is I've put on weight since like last time, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but I'm still like really sick. I'm scared that like I'm scared that he's gonna be like other doctors and be like, oh, you know, Seriously. you don't. Yeah, it doesn't look serious enough because you haven't lost enough weight, but it's like, but I'm still really struggling. So, we'll see. But we're just going to go out and get some breakfast. Yay! Yay! And then after we get breakfast... Leave in the comments where you think we should go, but by the time this video is posted, yeah, we'll be out of here. We'll be out of here, but that being said, leave in the comments if you're in Sydney, your favourite place to have breakfast for like next time I'm down here. Um, specifically your favorite places in Campbelltown, that would be good because okay. that's where I'm heading. Anyway, see you guys soon. Hey guys, so we've just got back from getting brekkie and yeah, now we're getting ready to check out and go to the train station and me and Izzy are parting ways. She's going to go on the train to Newcastle. And then I'm gonna go on the train to Campbelltown Hospital. So. Alright, so Is has left and she's on her way back to Newcastle. And at the moment, I am just getting ready to go on the MacArthur train, which leaves in 12 minutes, so I gotta go and catch that train to Campbelltown. Hey guys, I made it to MacArthur. I'm just sitting down having a rest. And I'll get up and start walking to the hospital. I'm lost in this hospital. I'm completely lost in this hospital. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I think I found my way out. I walked to the hospital from MacArthur train station, went to the appointment, oh my goodness. The feeling I have at the moment, just so much relief because I feel like we're finally gaining ground, which is just so good and I'm so happy. 
finally we are able to understand a bit more about what could have caused my gastroparesis. I'm not going to go into what it is until I have it confirmed and I'll let you guys know what has actually caused my gastroparesis. Oh my gosh, this is like crazy. I never thought, never thought we'd be finding out what it was. Turns out I pretty much were probably not, I'm probably not idiopathic um wow and it all makes sense it just all makes sense my whole life makes sense now like from like a very young age my whole entire life makes so much sense like part of things in my life um again i'm not gonna go into detail yet um but i'll let you guys know in another video i'm still processing things a lot to process but um the doctor was so good so thorough really helpful he's just one of those doctors that like really loves what he does like and he's really excited about what he does i feel just this massive burden has lifted off and literally there are so many people that have been praying for me today because we just wanted to find some help and finally we have help and it's just such a relief I will be honest when I was in the waiting room for the appointment I got a little teary because I was just so overwhelmed I was so nervous and I was so scared that as soon as I walked behind those doors I was just gonna get I don't know what's wrong with you sort of thing because that's what I've, that's all I've known from appointments for ages and ages. All this whole, you know, I don't know what's wrong there. And then finally, oh, you have gastroparesis, but I don't know what's caused it. Don't know how to help it. Finally, to go into a, an appointment and have a doctor actually spend so much time, like it was so thorough. We're on the right track. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's a weird feeling because... I know at the same time that what they have told me, there is no cure. So it's kind of weird that I'm really excited at the fact that they, they're they on to the right track because a lot of people would be like, why would you want that to be the right track? But it's just so validating to actually like feel like I'm heard and finally someone's actually interested to help. And they're like really excited about it and they're like, oh, it's like, you know, they said I'm a complex case but, you know, they've had other cases like me and they said, wow, this is cool. Like, doctors like that are just so cool. Like, it makes me kind of feel like, oh, it'd be cool to be a doctor. But, you know, I don't know, I haven't really thought I had much brain power growing up. So, anyway. I am going straight to bed because it is so late. I am so tired. Tomorrow I am probably going to catch the XBT back to my home, which is like a six hour trip or something like that. I'm also seeing a few more specialists later on in the next six months. Specialist to do with these other conditions that may have caused, I guess, your priestess or not. But I'll up update you guys um, on this channel as we go along on this journey. So cool. However, uh, I hope you really did enjoy this vlog of coming to Sydney and trying to figure out what's going wrong with me and at the same time having some fun going to Frozen, the musical, which was so cool. By the way, if you're in Sydney, go see it. It is so worth it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy these videos and if you have any other things you'd like to see from my life with Gashapresis. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you liked it even more, then please don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also, you can follow me on Instagram at Amity Gilmore. God bless. Love you. Bye. No matter how our lives will be 
I'll tell you, I won't tell you to leave Yeah, I'll keep on standing